Hey there folks, it's Andy, your local Salt Lake Realtor here. Today I want to discuss Salt Lake's affordability and the cost of living here in Salt Lake. Um, but before I do that, if you do like this video, I'd ask you to please like it, subscribe to the channel, and tap that bell to get notified for any future videos that I might that I release so that uh, you're aware of them and can watch them and enjoy them and like those as well. So uh, today, uh, Salt Lake's affordability and the cost of living. Now I'm going to cover what is generally considered the Salt Lake metro area and Salt Lake County, which includes a number of municipalities from Salt Lake City from the north all the way down to south to Draper and out to the west side of Salt Lake County and Harriman. So uh, let's dig into the numbers, shall we? Uh, the median price for all housing types uh, in December was $495,000. Uh, the median single family home, um, not condo or townhouse, uh, ticked up to $575,000 in December uh, with a median square footage of 2,488 square feet, about 2,500 square feet. Now, by comparison to other major markets in the area and surrounding us, uh, the uh, median Denver single-family home was $540,000, according to Redfin. Uh, the Los Angeles Long Beach area uh, single-family residents are going for $980,000. Again, uh, this is from Realtor.com. Uh, and the Las Vegas area single-family residences are going for $420,000. This is according to an article by local news affiliate KTNB. Uh, Seattle, the median sell price for a single family home is $760,000. And the median sell price for Portland, Oregon is $510,000. Uh, Portland number came from realtor.com and the Seattle value came from Norada real estate.com. Um, utilities here in Salt Lake, um, using my own home as a point of reference here, it's about a 2,300 square foot home. Uh, electric bill for my August 4th billing, or I guess the average billing uh, for the area in August when you're going to be generating the most and pulling the most electricity because of your air conditioner or swamp cooler, whichever one you do have on your home. Uh, the average bill for Salt Lake County is $111. Um, gas. Um, we have natural gas is rather abundant in the Salt Lake area. All furnaces and water heaters are um, run off of natural gas. Um, and it bills at $9.26 per decatherm. Um, November through December, um, let's see, my home used 9.6 decatherms, and I was billed $88.90. Uh, water, which is a valuable commodity through for any city out in the West, um, it's, it's really cheap here in Salt Lake. Um, water is billed at $2 per unit, with a unit being 100 cubic feet of water or 748 gallons um, built at a winter rate. Um, they also tack on what's a, a service fee as well at 0.4448 of a dollar. So 44 and a half cents um, per billing day with a 30 day cycle. Um, so when you combine the service fee and the amount of water consumed, that will show your total water bill for that month. Uh, food, just like anywhere else in the United States, is going up quite rapidly. We're feeling the effects of inflation and supply chain issues as well. Um, so those are increasing, and I don't really have too much of a comparison on that other than prices are going up just like everywhere else. Uh, gas, uh, unleaded gasoline in Utah or in Salt Lake City and Salt Lake metro area ranges from $3.31 to $3.52 per gallon. Uh, this is all through gasbuddy.com is where I got this information. Um, and realtor.com, looking into the future, uh, realtor.com projects Salt Lake City to be the number one metro area for 2022 with a 15.2% sales growth year over year and an 8.5% price growth year over year. So if you're considering moving to Salt Lake and the Salt Lake metro area, it is you know, competitively affordable to, uh, when you're comparing to other metro areas in the West. But because of the in, uh, influx of inward migration from other states, uh, particularly California and Washington in the last couple of years, and an already high demand for uh, homes with an 
what the existing buyer pool that we had, prices are going up quite steadily um, as indicated by Realtor.com's projection for 2022. So um, yeah, that's it. <laughs> if you do have anything, any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. 801-801-403-1803. Uh, again, this is Andy, your local Salt Lake Realtor. If you do like this video, I would hope that you do like it. Subscribe to the channel and tap that bell to be notified of any new content that I put out on my channel. So uh, nice talking with you today and I uh, look forward to seeing you around the bend. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.